Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Apple recently announced iOS 14 for a bunch of their iPhones and it goes all the way back to the iPhone 6s which is just crazy. So kudos to Apple for launching this new version of their software for a lot of devices and for supporting their devices for such a long period. Now anyway, iOS 14 is here and it's cute to see all the Apple fanboys getting all crazy over widgets. Whereas widgets have existed on Android since forever. To all the Apple fanboys over there, have you ever heard about KWGT and the amount of customization that it offers? But anyway, widgets are here and Apple have implemented them in a very good way and you can customize them as well. But we'll talk about customizations in the later part of this video. Right now, I want to talk about iOS 14 update problems. If you are trying to update to iOS 14 and facing some issue, then you've clicked on the right video. Dr. Phone by Wondershare have this new iOS system repair tool, which will help you fix about 43 iOS 14 update problems, which is just crazy. I did not even know that there are about 43 iOS 14 update problems. But nevertheless, if you are facing an issue while updating to iOS 14, you can go to their webpage. They have listed about 43 problems and their fixes as well. Not only that, they are also giving away an iPhone 12 when it will be launched. So you can enter in that giveaway as well, which is pretty sweet. You can also save 40% on the iOS system recovery tool. Dr. Phone's iOS system repair tool will also be able to fix some major issues with iOS updates, like the black screen of death, stuck on Apple logo, stuck in DFU mode, stuck in recovery mode, whatever. If you are facing such a major issue, then you can fix that with this tool and that is excellent. Now I did use this tool on my iPhone 11 to update it from iOS 13 to iOS 14 and then I'm making this video. So yes, I have used this tool to update to iOS 14. No data was lost and that is excellent and that's why I'm making this video. So let me show you the process. First up, you will have to download this tool on your PC or laptop. Once you do that, install it and then you need to connect your iPhone to your PC. After that, just fire up the software and you will see two modes. One is a standard mode and the second one is an advanced mode. Standard mode will be able to solve about 20 iOS 14 update problems. And the best thing about this is that you won't lose any data. Now, if your problem is not getting solved by the standard mode, then you'll have to choose advanced mode and advanced mode will erase all your data. So if you have a severe problem and there's no option left, then you can choose the advanced mode. For this video's demo purpose, I will choose the standard mode. So as soon as I choose the standard mode, it will give me two options, iOS 14 or 13.7. I will choose iOS 14 and start the process. Now this process will take some time depending upon the speed of your internet connection. For me, it took about 30 to 35 minutes and my system was updated to iOS 14. I did not face any issues and it's working like a charm. Apart from this, if you don't like iOS 14, you can also downgrade to iOS 13 using this tool, which is very handy. So if you don't like iOS 14 and those widgets, you can go back to iOS 13 and enjoy that using the iOS system recovery tool. So overall, Dr. Phone's iOS system recovery tool is your one-stop destination for all the things concerned with iOS update problems. You can go ahead and download it and also save 40% on it by clicking the link in the description box below. So don't forget to check it out. All right, now let's talk about those widgets and customizations. iOS 14 comes built in with a bunch of widgets and they are really good. But if you don't like them, you can also install third party widgets, which are very limited right now. Maybe developers are still working on widgets and we'll see a bunch of them in the future. But right now you can download some and I will make sure to drop a link to my favorite ones in the description box below. One of them being the Google widget. The Google widget is somehow better on iOS 14 as compared to Android. It's completely bizarre, but it is true. Now you might be asking, what about them icons? Is iOS supporting icon packs now? Well, no, iOS is not supporting icon packs. All the customizations that you've seen online are basically hacks or, you know, workarounds. All you have to do is create a Siri shortcut of your favorite app, and then you can change the icon of that Siri shortcut. So it's not exactly the app itself. You create a Siri shortcut of the app, change its icon, and that's how you have a custom icon. 
So all the customizations that you've seen online, they've changed individual icons, which is just crazy. It's a lot of work, but yeah, that's what you got to do if you use iOS. Like, don't expect iOS to be as customizable as Android. Like, please, come on, man. It's not ever going to get there. Now, if you want a more detailed guide on how to customize your iOS phone, I was going to make that, but MKBHD beat me to it. MKBHD made a very good video about iOS 14 customizations and how you can go about it in various levels. So I will make sure to drop a link to that in the description box below. You can go ahead and watch that video if you want a more detailed guide on how to customize your iOS 14. Anyway, this was a very quick video about this new update from Apple. I hope that you liked this video and if you did, then make sure to smash that like button and also if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. My name is Harish Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.